A couple of months ago, I won a grade A standard surface plate and an old beat up shop made stand at an auction. Today, we will restore and improve the stand by adding leveling jacks, some tool storage, and refinishing it. I'm Paul and this is Adventures in Fabrication, a channel all about creating, inventing, and learning in the home shop. If it's your first time here, Go hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on new videos. When I lifted the surface plate off the stand, I was surprised at how beat up it was. It had weld splatter, sharp edges, rust, and yellow paint all over it. The first thing I wanted to do was remove the sharp edges and put a radius on them. So I scribed a line on the corner using a radius gauge, ground them down, and filed them smooth. To improve the leveling capability, I wanted to add leveling jacks. To do this, all I had to do was drill three holes and then tap them. Standridge puts pads on the bottom of their plate so you know exactly where to support the plate. The people who built the stand put the mounting pads on the stand so they align with the pads on the plate. So there was really no difficult modification of the stand necessary. For the jacks, I used a half 13 bolts and I purchased some screw pads from MSC for about nine bucks per. I then spent about three and a half hours sanding, wire wheeling, and grinding before I got it all cleaned up. With the shop built stand, there's only so much you can do. It's always going to be a shop built stand. First, I painted the shelf I built to hold the tool storage cabinet. The stand was a little more challenging. I started by painting the underside and then flipped it upright to get the top and sides. The paint I used was Rust-Oleum and it sprayed really well. To spray the paint, I used a DeVilbus SRI spot gun with a 2 horsepower compressor. The gun only needs about 3.5 CFM so the little 2 horsepower compressor had no problem keeping up with it. If you have a small compressor, there are a lot of good guns out there that will work with them. Spraying paint is really easy. I wish I had started doing it sooner. This is the first time I used my spray booth on a decent sized project. And it worked great! One of the comments on the booth build video was that the lack of sealing was going to allow dust to settle on projects. However, that didn't happen. Also, even with the open ceiling, it kept all the paint in the booth. I think what happened was the fan and gravity pulled all the overspray to the ground and to the filter before it could get over the top of the wall. If you're interested, at the end of the video there will be a link to the spray booth build video. I decided to commandeer a spare bedroom that is just off the shop and turn it into a metrology room. The benefit will be a temperature controlled clean space. The downside is lifting the plate in such a confined space with walls that you don't want to damage. The PVC structure you see was to keep the plate from putting a hole in the wall, and it saved the wall a couple of times. I originally lifted the plate off the stand two months ago, and I forgot how the hoist had to be oriented, so I had to rearrange it a couple of times before I got it right. I also forgot that one of the pads on the bottom of the plate was missing. So to get it level, I had to rotate the stand again 180 degrees. Because the cross members on the stand use overlapping joints, I had to put some pads on the bottom of the shelf so it would be supported on all four sides. Also, I was concerned because the paint was relatively new, it would bond together over time. So I had felt strips to the bottom of the shelf where it makes contact with the stand. It all worked out and I got the stand in place. I did a preliminary leveling job and the leveling jacks really made it a lot easier to do. Because it's on carpet, I figure it'll settle some and I'll have to re-level it several more times. I was able to buy a Craftsman toolbox that was on sale for $65 and that'll add some desperately needed storage. All in all, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I have only about $350 total in on the project. It looks good and is a lot more functional. 
Now before you go, be sure and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when new videos come out. To view the video on the paint booth, click the picture in the upper left hand corner. Thanks for watching.